what's good you guys it's your girl cutie and i'm back with another video you guys let's just go ahead and get into it okay now child this Nicki minaj and cardi b drama is getting very crazy Nicki minaj said that she is grown and people need to stop telling her to leave her husband alone well sis it's love worth your hard-earned career now i'm just asking for a friend and the people was asking me to ask you sis so you know i got to do what my supporters tell me to do all right because you have worked so hard for years for your beautiful career and you know it girl it is just alive and y'all jason lee is over there saying that he is looking for kenneth petty's parole officer so that he can report him jason says that allegedly nikki and her husband hired people to come at him and get him you guys okay then jason lee also alleges that nikki and her husband want cardi and offset unalived erased okay now jason also alleges that if anything happens to cardi and offset the people will know where to go Jason also told everyone to send them Kenna Petty's parole officer because Jason says that he allegedly has receipts of Kenny telling someone to allegedly handle Jason, all right? So then Jason said that Nikki allegedly said that her and Ken are mobbing all day through New York. So Jason said, just lock them up, lock them up, honey, okay? Now, Jason said he's not street and that the law is here to protect him. Look, Jason, I'm not mad at your brother. I, listen, I like Jason Lee. I like Nicki Minaj and I'm a little fond of party, okay? Um, So this is just an all around bad, sticky situation because you have a group of very, 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 very talented creators artists um including jason lee you know but the thing that is just so unfortunate is that you know things are ending up this way okay now jason lee also told the people to stream pink friday because nikki is going to need the money to keep defending her husband i'm sorry y'all i'm not trying to laugh because you know y'all know people are very tender about their husbands and their wives okay this is just getting messy, okay? Then it's a lot of surface beef that Jason Lee posted. I'm not going to even read it because, you know, a lot of time people are just sitting up here. A lot of these content creators, when they post, they post the same videos and da 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 No, babe, I be wanting to hear different stuff, all right? So y'all already know what's going on with the tea and the receipts that Jason Lee um posted or the alleged receipts, child. We really don't know, okay? And... It was with some guy named Ty that came, something came up with a guy named Ty. But the guy Ty perform, uh, confirmed, excuse me, that Nicki Minaj's husband had nothing to do with that little situation and squabble or whatnot, okay? Now, also, Nicki posted the call of the woman that made false police calls and police reports to Nicki's home. Nicki Minaj says that she has more tea, but will be posting it on Queen Radio, you guys, coming up. So some people are saying that Nikki is allegedly making it seem as if Cardi and her team are behind this female calling and making false police reports, allegedly. So then Ken Barbie came out saying that if Nikki comes out saying that Cardi and Offset had something to do with this, then she will be getting sued, okay? And we know Cardi likes to sue, okay? That's neither here or there. But anyway, Nikki posted on Instagram saying, and I quote, can't call the cops every time you flop just saying now listen 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 i'm trying not to laugh girl because this is really a, a lot this is really messy okay and these people a lot of them are really up in age and y'all know people be talking about ken baby they up there saying that ken is up in age and he's up here you know uh with the shenanigans okay he's with the hoopla and all of this that is going on so since i don't know what it is y'all gonna have to tell me what y'all think because girl it's just a lot of mess okay um and also you guys um this is just a big mess it's gonna cause a big war in my opinion so you know people believe that nikki was talking about cardi b when she said that situation about flopping she thought that um well people were saying that she was talking about cardi and meg the stallion on their bongos uh single okay and also dj vlad made a post about saying nikki is allegedly a bad person yada 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 y'all probably have already read that already and also you got charlamagne okay says that kenneth petty deserves donkey of the day because at a certain age you know he said in so many words that at a certain age you should know better and yada 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 and you know what i'm gonna have to agree with that i'm not just pertaining it to mr kenneth petty because in my opinion you know kenneth don't really say anything ken just be sitting in the back you don't really see ken at the appearances 
you don't really see Ken around too much. He's really just kind of key to, you know, he's a key to himself type, uh, type of guy. If I would, you know, say my humble opinion, I could be wrong. Y'all don't know these people in real life, but it seems like he kind of stays clear of a lot of this BS. Okay. Um, but anyway, Charlemagne said he deserved donkey of the day. So child that fired Nikki up and Nikki basically was saying that it feels so good, good, excuse me, to be home in New York, child, letting people know that she's in, in New York and, you know, of her whereabouts and stuff. That's how I took it. Okay. So y'all, I really don't know how this situation got this heated and it's turning into a dangerous situation at that. And a lot of people are coming out saying different things and, you know, Nicki Minaj is over there pissed. Okay. Even, you know, Cardi was over there talking about she's going to be off the internet for a while because people are making her mad people are upsetting her and you know it's just it's 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 a lot but you know i feel like a lot of people because i've seen in the comments they were saying that maybe cardi is upset because of the vma's bs that was going on because we all have seen it by now and y'all know nikki was taking some shots honey okay and nikki said that people are doing smear campaigns because they want pink friday to flop nikki said she knows everything that needs to be known and she you know i guess it's you know allegedly a lot of behind the scenes stuff going on that a lot of people don't know about but nikki says she's hip to it and she knows everything um and you know i guess nikki's fans feel that cardi is allegedly trying to destroy nikki's character me personally i don't know what to think honey i'm just here to uh to report the news honey that's all i'm doing i don't want to bash i don't want to you know what i'm saying talk about nobody this then the third and in an ill intent but girl it's just a lot so this is definitely a messy situation but i personally don't think cardi and offset have as much to do with the situation I could be wrong. Like I said, again, I wouldn't put anything past nobody, honey. Okay. Uh, let me just say that because we really don't know the behind the scenes situation to its full extent. We don't know these situations that's going on. And I'm not sure, you know, what has to be done for all of this BS to simmer down because it's, it's just so much going on. And, you know, it's a lot of kids involved. And like I said before, baby, y'all know these Nicki Minaj and Cardi fans, baby. A lot of these fans be trying to risk their life, baby. And they, but baby, look, they willing to die behind Cardi. They willing to die about Cardi. And they willing to die about uh Nicki. Okay, I've seen a lot of fans. See, that's why I keep my comments off. Cause see, me, baby, y'all already know how I am, baby. I'll be, re I'll be ready to drag. So I just keep my little comments off. Cause, baby, I'm not about to dog somebody out and have them crying in the comments because they chose to mess with me on the wrong day, the right person on the wrong day. So you know, I really don't keep my comments on because I don't do deal with trolls. But I've seen a lot of celebrity content creators that are getting backlash for how they talk about nikki for how they talk about cardi some people are team nikki some people are team cardi and that's perfectly fine but me personally i just feel like it shouldn't be a team nobody because at the end of the day we have two very talented uh worldwide known women two women that are very um dominant two women that are both married two women that of course you know, can leave their mark in the music industry. So I'm not understanding how the beef started. I'm not understanding why there is still beef years later. And I'm not understanding how it keeps on intensifying. Okay. And it went on all these years. And now the husbands are getting involved in it. The husband's trying to meet up. And of course, nobody is willing to squabble. Now, like I said, Cardi B and Offset, they've been called out a lot of times this is just what i've seen okay this is not my opinion this is what i've seen on the internet they've been called out several times and neither one of them have shown up but a lot of the time offset and cardi b do tend to be the ones that are loud and wrong and then again some people may feel like ken and barbie aka Nicki minaj are loud and wrong as well um but i just feel like my thing is i don't agree with who's loud and wrong i really don't care about that my thing is um I really wish that Nikki would just focus on her career versus focusing on what's going on with Cardi B. Not saying that she is, but I'm just saying this stuff is just making the situation even worse. And I feel like these people are really trying to kind of tarnish Nikki's image. Um, Cardi really is kind of flopping a little bit. She's very beautiful. Cardi is very talented as well, but Cardi is flopping. I'm not going to lie. And it's very unfortunate because, you know, Bungos was a beautiful video and I loved, 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 loved Cardi B's performance at the awards. I did. I feel like she did that. I feel like her and Meg tore it up. Um, but I feel like Bongos was a flop. I mean, I, I really do, you guys. I feel like it was a flop. Last time I saw you, I was feeling it because, you know, 
if Nikki has a different style, and that's okay. Both of the, like I said, both of these women are talented in their own right. Um, I'm just more of a Nikki type style person, you know. But again, you guys, I don't know if Cardi's just running out of features or whatever. But you guys, we're just gonna have to see how this ends up because at the end of the day, if they don't cut this out, y'all, I really see somebody ending up going to jail and hopefully not. But I mean, somebody could possibly get hurt, you guys, okay? Because this is getting really, really sticky and it's just a situation that just doesn't need to fester, okay? So anyway, you guys, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, okay? Go over to cutie underscore TV on Instagram, follow your girl, then let your girl know what y'all think, okay? Until then, you guys, that is my time. I will see y'all in the next one.